It's the fact that it's brightly coloured and it's beautifully done. It lifts people's spirits. It, it makes them feel like someone cares about their neighbourhood. My name's Darren Hutchins and I've been working with the Community Arts Network to manage the Splash of Colour partnership with the Water Corporation. We also facilitated a series of workshops with local youth organisations, Edmund Rice Centre and White Lion, and developed ideas for the mural through working with the young people. My name is Laurie and I was part of creating the artwork on this wall here. We brainstormed with each group individually, drew up some pictures, put those pictures and sort of worked out a little bit of a, a story. We had a representative from Water Corporation come out and speak to the group before we started designing. That was really beneficial because it got everyone thinking about how we use water in the home it starts to make you think about yeah, your own water use and what it means. Some people don't even realise it's a water corp asset, so the fact that we're painting it with a water theme, you know, it's all there for people to interpret themselves, start having a conversation about the artwork and the themes behind it. The design is the idea of the, the flow of the cycle of the water coming up from the land, so all of the water's going up into the clouds and then coming back down uh, into the river. The creatures that are in it are, are very local. The motorbike frog is the probably the main one in its little bub there. If there's a message in there, it's quite subtle. Little indication of a, a footprint on the baby frog's back, which I guess is a carbon footprint. The turtle was from one of the participants from the Edmund Rice. Not sure if that was uh, her totem or not. That's ended up on the wall here. She got it up there and put all the colours up there. There is some crows on the artwork which are representative of the Noongar people who live in the area. One of the features from one of the young men in the Edmund Rice group was the woggle, which is the, the rainbow serpent. It's part of the creation which is up in the sky, which is how it's presented here in the clouds. The local community will get a lot of positives out of this. Also for the young people, when they're on site painting together, you know, it's a good community building exercise, I think. I think it's a good um, opportunity to be able to work with people that you don't know necessarily and you can just have a nice paint. What I liked today was because it was all new people, met, met new people and it's pretty good. Yeah. Really happy with how the splashy colour turned out. The two days of community involvement were fantastic. It was all we could hope for. The young people just done a great job. Yeah, it's just really good to see it come together and see all the participants working with Laurie and, you know, it's a fantastic outcome.